Hello everyone, Weather well, Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video of weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Monday evening, January 13, 2025. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video. I'd really appreciate it if you guys get this video up to 100 likes. If you don't know by now, that's how the YouTube algorithm works. We all like the video and then the YouTube algorithm pushes the video out to more persons who are in the path of these tropical systems so that we can keep everyone safe especially during the peak months of Atlantic hurricane season that's August through to October. Share this video with your friends, your co-workers, your relatives and even your church brethren and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Please ensure that you guys utilize the progress bar that's located at the bottom of the video as well as the timestamps that are located not only in the comment section but the video description so that you can skip to the points in the video that you want to see the most in order to save time because we know that the videos over here with the Jamaica can be very long. Leave a comment down below letting me know what the dust be like in your recently. Also, feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future though in your specific area. Alright, so we're going to be looking at what the next 7 days have in store for us according to the latest Euro model that came out at 3.30pm today as well as the latest GFS supercomputer model that came out at 6pm today. So keep your eyes focused on the timestamp right here as we go to the next 168 hours and look out for all of this that we see on the key on the right. The reds, the oranges, the yellows, the greens that represents inches of rainfall. And we're going to be focusing our attention on Jamaica as well for all of this moisture. So let's see what's expected over the next seven days. Heading into Tuesday, we see that there's not much of anything that's going to be expected across the island at all. More whites represent little to no rainfall at all. Wednesday, however, we see some dots of greens across the northern portion of the island, according to this latest run of the Euro. Heading into Thursday, not much of anything at all. Maybe some dots of greens right here. By 21 Z on Thursday, which is actually 4 p.m. We'll see exactly what unfolds. Heading into Friday, we see some dots of greens across the northern portion of the island. And then Saturday, not much of anything or across the island at all. We see more white. Heading into Sunday, we see some moisture to the south of the island. We see some moisture across the eastern Caribbean right there. And we're going to be stopping it right here at the end of 268 hours. So this is valid for the next 7 days. Monday, January 20, 2025. We see the moisture associated with the frontal system off the east coast of the United States, stretching down into Florida and the Gulf of Mexico. Seeing some moisture to the southeast of Jamaica as well as across the southeastern Caribbean. Let us see what the latest GFS supercomputer model is showing for the next 7 days. Heading into Tuesday, not much of anything at all, just like what the Euro model was showing. But look at this Wednesday, we're seeing some dots of greens across the northern portion of the island. Thursday, not much of anything at all. Friday, definitely even more so in terms of drier than average conditions, similar conditions on Saturday. Sunday, we see some moisture right here across eastern parishes, especially the waters to the southeast of Jamaica. But we see that by 0 Z on Monday, which is actually 7 p.m. on Sunday, we see most of the moisture across the island. Very interesting. Definitely kind of different to what the euro was showing for sure. We're going to be stopping it right here at the end of the 168 hours. So this is valid for Monday, January 20 as well. And what do we see that both the euro and the GFS models have in common? Well, we're clearly not seeing all of that moisture across the east coast or to the east of the U.S. across Florida and to the Gulf of Mexico associated with the frontal system. What we're seeing is a lot of moisture across the western and southwestern Caribbean as well as the southeastern to the eastern Caribbean. Very interesting. Either way, in terms of the accumulated precipitation forecast over the next seven days, this map from the Euro and this map from the GFS are both showing all the rainfall expected from now up until January 20. And clearly we can see that the most in the way for rainfall is represented by what we see here on the key on the right. That's the reds, the orange, well, the reds into the burgundies, the purples into the pinks, and the peach colors represents anywhere from one all the way up to two inches, all the way up to three to five inches, and six to eight inches of rainfall. And we can clearly see that the most in the way for rainfall should be experienced across these areas over the next seven days. We're talking about the waters of the southeastern Gulf into the Yucatan, western Cuba, sections of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, western Venezuela, section of the ABC Islands and northern South America into portions of the eastern Caribbean. And we see that not only the Euro model is showing something similar, but even the GFS. So those areas, especially where the dark reds into the purples and the pinks are going to be experienced 
those areas could definitely pick up some isolated flash flooding for sure and if we take a closer look at jamaica regarding the total accumulated precipitation forecast over the next seven days the euro model is definitely adamant that the most in the rainfall over the next seven days should still be plaguing northern parishes we're talking about hanover st james chilani st Anne, st mary portland where we see the dark blues into the greens and even the slight yellows that represents all the way up to 36 millimeters of rainfall especially across portland the gfs definitely showing the blues across northern parishes the same areas that the euro was showing but clearly the gf is a bit different in terms of the total amount of rainfall and where it's supposed to be experienced the most we see it more so across the eastern portion of eastern jamaica we're talking about eastern portland into eastern st thomas and we see that going all the way up into the greens that represents 21 millimeters of rainfall we'll see exactly what unfolds either way we see some similarities we see some differences I'll definitely be here to keep you posted with what occurs over the next seven days. Taking a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening, you can see a ridge of high pressure right here to the north of the Bahamas, another ridge of high pressure right here to the northwest of the western coast of Africa. And we know those are responsible for sending all of the easterly trends across the main development region into the Caribbean. You can see broken orange lines right here to the northeast of the Caribbean, associated with a trough, another trough to the east of there. And we see the broken well, we see the blue spike line right here, touching all the way from the northern portion of North Atlantic, all the way down to the north of the Caribbean, associated with a frontal system, a cold front at that. And we even see another trough right here across the waters to the east of the U.S. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic before the sun went down, we can make out all of these entities. The clouds associated with the trough of the east coast of the United States, the clouds associated with the cold front, touching all the way down from the northern portion of the North Atlantic, all the way into portions of the southern Bahamas and if you look closely you can even make out some of the troughs across portions of the main development region for sure lots of moisture right here passing through the eastern and southern Caribbean as we speak we'll be talking more about the rest of the Caribbean a bit later on let us focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about those across Jamaica for today Monday January 13 2025 if you remember yesterday's video, it was stated that the afternoon would have been definitely fair across most parishes, but the morning would have brought some isolated shorts to northern parishes, if not partly cloudy skies. Either way, we know northern parishes, we're talking about Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland. And although no post was made on our social media platform today, we can look at the visible satellite images and definitely make out that it was definitely more so in the way of some partly cloudy skies across the entire island. Nothing significant in terms of cloud cover or rainfall at all. In the morning though, definitely saw some clouds bring some overcast skies to northern Jamaica. Not much in the way of isolated showers at all. And even the infrared close-up satellite images are confirming that we're not seeing much in the way of cumulonimbus clouds or anything like that. No high cold cloud tops here at all. And if we take a look at the Barbican camera from earlier today, this was about 4.52 p.m. And we can see that it was definitely sunny for the most part across Barbican. People in their vehicles going about their business with all of the fear weather being experienced for sure. And if we take a look at the accumulated precipitation for the past 24 hours from the Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and High Judge website, this map does indeed paint a picture of where we had the rainfall today. Not much of anything across the majority of the island at all. We see more west than anything else that represents little to no rainfall. And if we take a look at the very latest still image from the Weather Nerd website, as a matter of fact, let's reload this image that we have the very latest to show. And the very latest image is as of 0035 UTC. So this is valid for 7.35 p.m. So this just came out nine minutes ago, considering it's 7.44 p.m. right now. And we can see that there's not much of anything experiencing or bringing bad weather or cloud cover across the island right now. And we definitely have the Cuban and Doppler radar images to confirm this. We know the Cuban and Doppler radar images show the actual rainfall as opposed to satellite images that show cloud cover. And we don't see much of anything in terms of rainfall across the island as we speak. Even the Guantanamo Bay Cuban naval radar imagery not showing much of anything across eastern Cuba, western Haiti, or northeastern Jamaica. Even the Cayman radar not showing much of anything across the Cayman Islands, southern Cuba, or western Jamaica right now. And if we take a look back at the Barbican camera, live streaming now, showing what we're seeing, we're not seeing much of anything. Definitely fair weather as we speak. 
across the Barbican era. And I'd like for you to keep in mind that if you'd like to see more live streams like this, just visit See Jamaica on YouTube. They have these live streams for your viewing pleasure. And they're planning on increasing the amount of cameras that they have in and around the island. So subscribe today so that you don't miss out. Taking a look at the temperatures right now, we can still have 24 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and Kingston. And by about 4 a.m. on Tuesday, temperature should dip down to about 23 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 22 degrees Celsius in Kingston. Taking a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this map from the GFS is valid for 18 day on Tuesday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Tuesday. And we can see Jamaica right here embedded in some slight orange colors. That represents up to 2 degrees Celsius above normal temperatures, as you can see from the key on the right. I wonder the normal temperatures for the month of January across Jamaica are around 86.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And when that's calculated and converted to degrees Celsius, that's about 30.2 degrees Celsius. So it should be receiving anywhere from 30 to 32.2 degrees Celsius at most for Jamaica's temperature on Tuesday. And unfortunately, we have some maintenance outage advisories from my JPS Online's Twitter page. We know that when we have power outages, it can definitely exacerbate the heat because we don't have our fan or our AC to cool down. So unfortunately, we have Languedoc Road, Bamboo Walk Retreat, as well as Petersfield in St. Mary. Definitely going to be experiencing power outages from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we also have Cherry View and Garden Close in St. Andrew for the same day. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So if you live or work in those areas or if you have friends or relatives who live or work in those areas, let them know that a power outage is coming their way. Either way, we have some tips right here to beat the heat. It states here, dress down, wear lightweight clothing and use sunscreen. Check on others, including children, elderly people with medical conditions and pets. Be cool, stay indoors and make use of fans and air conditioners. Avoid alcohol and caffeine as they can make dehydration worse. Limit non-essential strenuous activity during the hottest parts of the day. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to always keep hydrated. Drink lots of water throughout the day. Put away the sugar drinks. Drink water instead. So as stated, the dry ear map is still showing a lot of yellows, oranges, reds all across the Atlantic from Africa across into the Caribbean as well as the Gulf of Mexico. We know the dry ear definitely makes it harder for it to rain for sure. And we see that there's an abundance of dry air, especially right here off the coast of Africa. And we see those dark reds into the whites. But if we take a look here at the Saharan dust workouts, what we're grateful for is that for Tuesday, January 14, we're seeing more in the way of the Saharan dust across the main development region. While North America, the Bahamas, the Caribbean, Northern South America, and Central America should all be in the clear. Taking a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow. We can see that across the Caribbean, including Jamaica, we should be receiving those light shades of blues to dark shades of blues that represents anywhere from 0 0.5 meter wave height all the way up to 1.5 meter wave heights. And we see to the north of Jamaica, that's 1 meter wave height, south of Jamaica, 1.3 meter wave height. And that's because of the winds that are going to be expected. We see more of a northeast to the flow across the leeward islands into the southern Caribbean, the ABC islands. We see it extending into the southwestern Caribbean. We see it also moving across the Jamaica area into the Western Caribbean, as well as across the Gulf of Mexico. We also see that northeasterly to easterly kind of flow. And we see the colors that represents the dull greens into the bright greens into the yellows. That represents anywhere from 5 to 10 to 15 knots, maybe even gusting to 25 knots, right here to the north of Colombia, right here across the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. But if we take a closer look at Jamaica regarding the wind forecast, we can see that there's definitely more of a northeast in the flow, especially across Portland, curving more westward, maybe from the east northeast across northern parishes. And we also see that southern parishes are going to be getting the least amount of winds. So those areas could definitely feel warmer than average tomorrow. But if if we get isolated showers, more than likely they're going to be taking place across the afternoon hours well across the southern parishes during the afternoon that's if we get that daytime heating conviction but definitely that won't be the case considering the amount of dry air that we have across the air either way whatever comes off of the sea from the northeast could definitely bring some ice issues to the section of some northeastern parishes and we're still in a kind of pattern that supports upper level high pressure across the greater antilles so not much in the way of upper level wind shear at all at this time Definitely, if we had an air of low pressure across the air, it could definitely spin up into something like a tropical depression or a storm. But nothing taking place now. Definitely the dry season as we speak. 
taking a look at the rainfall forecast maps now. This map from the Euro and this map from the GFS are about showing 2 p.m. on Tuesday. And we can see that for the most part, not much in with anything across the island. But we do see some dust of blues across Portland on the Euro as well as the GFS. We'll see exactly what unfolds. That's the low end of the scale in terms of rainfall though. Up to 0.1 of an inch of rainfall. Even the accumulated precipitation forecast maps are not as impressive showing eastern or northeastern parishes though light light very light shades of greens represents up to 0.04 of an inch of rainfall in the euro gfs maybe all the way up to 0.05 of an inch of rainfall we'll see exactly what unfolds either way this is expected we're in the month of january we're in our dry season in kingston whose bar graph is being shown right here at the top we shall receive up to 20 millimeters of rainfall for the month in Montego Bay, whose bar graph is being shown right here at the bottom, we shall receive up to 3 inches of rainfall. That's about 75 millimeters of rainfall. And I'd like for you to keep in mind that if you'd like to find out what your specific price you shall receive for the month of January or for the entire year, you can visit weatherandclimate.com and that website will show you that information. And you can use this nice graphic right here that converts rainfall from inches to millimeters that we receive on the rain gauge. We know that 1 inch of rainfall is about the same as 25 millimeters of rainfall. Alright, so that's it for the forecast across Jamaica. Let us focus our attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So as stated, we have some low-level to mid-level clouds passing through the Eastern Caribbean. And we're from Dominica, Southward, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and Grady's getting in some isolated showers. We also see the moisture associated with the frontal system interacting with the trough of the east coast of the U.S. Bring some overcast skies and rainfall to section of Florida as we speak. Even section of the ABC Island getting in some of the action too. And if we take a look at the Doppler radar images of the Northeastern Caribbean, not going to be seeing much of anything happening across Puerto Rico. We do see some isolated showers across the eastern tip of the Dominican Republic. See some rainfall to the southeast of the U.S. Virgin Islands. But if we load these images from earlier today, we can see that there is not much of anything taking place. Taking a look at the Barbados radar, we can see more of an east northeast of the flow with some isolated showers. Passing to the north of Barbados, some of the activity affecting Barbados. We can also see some of the rainfall coming in from the east northeast affecting section of Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and Grady's as I speak. Not much of anything across Trinidad and Tobago right now, but if we take a look at the weather view of the upload our images, we can make out some rainfall across section of the Yucatan, intersection of northern Guatemala. We can see some rainfall coming into section of the ABC Island. I'm sure they're grateful for that rainfall. And we can definitely make out some rainfall coming in to view from the west towards the western portions of Florida. And if we take a look at where the rainfall is expected within the next 24 hours, both maps from the Euro and the GFS are showing all the rainfall expected from now until 10 p.m. on Tuesday. And we can clearly see that the most rainfall is going to be where it's definitely affecting now. We're talking about Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Credis, Barbados, the ABC Islands, section of Guyana, maybe section of Suriname, section of Northern and Western Venezuela, section of Western Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Southeastern Nicaragua, section of Northeastern Guatemala, section of Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula, right there, all the way into portions of the waters of the Southeastern Gulf. And we can see that both the Euro and the GFS models are in consensus with this forecast. I wonder that when they're in consensus like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.